that. So this is our new survey builder. And as you can see, it appears it is a very simple and straightforward survey builder because we have our toolbox of different question types available here on the left hand side. Anytime you wish to add a specific question, you simply need to click on the appropriate tool from the toolbox and it will get added in here in the center. So to start with, I want to add a couple of Boolean question types because if you recall from the categories that we created, those were meal and timeliness. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Boolean and you'll see that a Boolean question has now been added in. So I'll click on it again and a second one gets added in. So you can either click on it or you can click and drag it. Either or will allow you to edit this particular category now that we've got this in here. So let's go ahead and start typing out the questions that we want to ask within the survey itself. So for question one, for our meal, I want to ask, were you satisfied with the quality of your meal? Now, one thing I do want to stress is that even though we've added in the question type from here, the, from the toolbox on the left, and we've added our question, it's important to note that we need to specify what category this question is associated with. So if you look on the right-hand side for this question, you'll see two dropdowns, one for category and one for theme. So if I click on the category dropdown, you'll see all of the different Boolean question types that were configured, and we'll want to select meal. And the reason this is important is because this category is what you will be reporting on in the dashboards in order to get an understanding of the different questions that have been asked. So it's important to ensure that your questions are associated with the appropriate categories. Our second question was around timeliness. So were you served in a timely manner? Once again, from the category dropdown, we will choose the appropriate category. And then let's say for this one, we don't want this to appear as faces, but we want this to appear as thumbs up or thumbs down. We can change the theme of that from the drop down here. Next, we're going to add in a customer satisfaction question type. So I'll just click on CSAT, that question has been added in. And then I'll type out my question here satisfied were you again ensuring that it is tied to the appropriate overall satisfaction category and then from a display standpoint in other words what will be visible to the consumer whether we want it to appear as a scale of one to five numerically or we want it to appear as smileys so i'll choose the faces theme we'll add an nps question next associated with the likelihood to recommend category. And then we'll add a drop down menu. So the multi select question type that we configured is available in one of three visualizations. We can actually have it displayed as either a drop down menu, a radio group, a radio button group or check boxes. Uh, the check boxes allow for multi select whereas both the drop-down and the radio group allow only for single select. For the multi-select question, ask who helped you today, and then we will select the employee name category. And then last but not least, we'll add in a comment box. For the category of comment, which was already created. So at this point, we are pretty much done with creating our survey. So we'll go ahead and hit the save survey button here. There we go, our survey has been saved.